Hello, and welcome to the 44th episode of the Council of Goatman. Fucking finally. <laughs> it's been, like, two fucking weeks or so, Like, I think it's been, like, a month or something like that. No, it hasn't been a month. Maybe it has oh, been no. a month. It might have been a month. Um, anyway, I'm joined here by, uh, Wallace Nizamdu. No! And Clockwork Scully. Hi. Um, also, hopefully my voice sounds... Sexy as hell in this video because uh, I have my new microphone I got for Christmas. <laughs> uh, no, you sound like you're ugly as always, as you are. Uh, it's the e I hope the echo. Did I put the echo up? The echo might be up right now. Let me just turn that down. Oops. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the first few seconds of the podcast are gonna sound like I'm in a church or something. So that'll be fun. <laughs> um. We all know so, you love going to church. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I, I'm i always, whenever I'm low on self-esteem, I always am like, I go to church and I'm like, oh, thanks for the plate full of money. It really brings my spirits up. Mm -hmm. so, um, I always just drink the water. I get thirsty. Uh, so as I was telling uh, Kevin about my... Um, uh, Skylanders, uh, adventures that we've been having, uh, as <laughs> Byro's adventure. It's not our adventure; it's his adventure. No, but I just meant Skylanders in general, and then our adventure with Skylanders. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, because I don't know. I was just sitting one day, and I saw like the thing of Skylanders. So I was like, you know what? I, I mean, I know Eva has, but I personally have never, like, fully, really played through the series. So I'm like, fuck it. Let's do it. So, uh, I played you know. Skylanders a really, really long time ago. I think I was in, like, first grade, and I went over to this kid's house, and I, and we were just like, okay, let's play Skylanders. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're playing Spyro's Adventure right now, um, and, man... It is buggy as hell. Like, <laughs> we have gotten soft locked like f five times. Um, um, and like five times and finally, on one, oh, on one and level. Finally, this morning, I beat Cadaverous Crypt because I don't know what was happening, but there's a, is, there's a spot where it's supposed to um, like close the door and s spawn enemies so you can start fighting. And once mm -hmm. you beat the enemies, once you beat the enemies, uh, you the other door opens, but it never spawned the enemies, so it's literally just stuck in there mm. and do anything. And it did that three times in a row, and finally we're just like, "All right, fuck this," and I and we left. But I did it this morning, and it worked just fine, and I beat the level. So I don't know what the fuck happened. Well, how old is Skylanders now? Oh man, you're gonna make me feel like a fucking. I'm gonna about to gain wrinkles when I look this up. <laughs> Skylanders release date. Uh, let's see. 2011. Oh, man. That's uh, about the same year. That's like the same year Minecraft came out, right? Uh, I know that's the same year that uh, Matt Pat started his channel, which, mm -hmm. speaking of which, speaking I know, of... Like, great transition. Um, We'd all like to say a formal goodbye to an internet legend. You made uh, our childhoods. Oh yeah. I mean we were I mean, we had a whole episode about FNAF. Without him, I, I literally wouldn't even be he hurt my Cheeto. Um Yeah, I remember like just binge watching all like when I first discovered him, just like binge watching all his theories. Mm -hmm. Um Man. Like, uh, like I, I was just like living my life as all happy, and then, wham, bam! My mom sends me like a thing. It's like goodbye, internet, and I'm like, uh, um, this year I'm, sucks no, already. No, I know. No. Fuck this year, 2025 gonna be my year for real. Mm -hmm. Um, we for yeah. real haven't had a good year since like 2019. Oh yeah, no. 2019 yeah. wasn't all that great either. Yeah, that was like the eh year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
2023 was a great year for Mario, though. Uh, mm-hmm. We got uh, we got Mario Bros. Wonder. We got Super Mario RPG remake. Um, there's a couple others, uh, but yeah, this year was that last year was really good for Mario. You haven't um, got to see Fall of Boy. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see what else I have. Like we since we haven't done this in a while, I have like like fifty things on my Pelto Goat Man. Uh, to do list right now. Um. All right. Uh. Here's one that we've been talking about. Um. So, Kevin, I mm-hmm. want you right now to look up how tall is Olaf from Frozen right now. <laughs> okay. Please trust me. How tall is Olaf? He's five foot four. Exactly. What Olaf's is this taller kid? than me? <laughs> okay, Olaf now. Is taller than you, Kevin. Yes, I'm five two and a half. Oh, all right. Now hey, here, I, I told you I wouldn't make short jokes anymore, but that's tempting me. Oh my god, yeah. No, I can't okay. blame you for that. All right, now <laughs> I want to run. I want to run down a few things because all up, you at Disney. I don't know if you know how height works, but you can't just decide he's five foot four and then it's all good and dandy. Let me tell you what him being five foot four implies. One, okay. First of all, Kevin Hart is five foot four, so uh, there you go. Just in mm-hmm. case. uh, secondly, um, they build Olaf when they're kids at the start of the movie. Mm-hmm. So those kids are five foot four. I was gonna say that makes everyone else like massive. Yeah, and thirdly, that makes Elsa eleven foot four because oh my god, about half her size. Oh, I was gonna tell Jeremiah about that. See how he reacted. That a woman's taller than him. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I was <laughs> like, you can't just make a character fight. He's he's like um, two foot. And- he's like two feet at best. <laughs> Like there ain't no fucking way. So bro is you know, not five foot four. <laughs> um. Yeah. So uh, that, I, I, I hate, I hate that so much. It, it, but like we, like we talked about it the first day, and then I brought it up. Like I think the next day, and then like the next day I brought it up again. I'm like I was like still mad about it. <laughs> You should be. I'm like, I fucking hate <laughs> Disney. Yeah, I'm so mad about this. That's scary, yeah. <laughs> it's scary. Olaf's um, fucking gonna tower over me. I, I would mean, generally so five 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 nine, so he wouldn't tower over two me. Two inches but... shorter than me just waddled up to me. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that he's five inches shorter than me is not okay to me. He's, he's like, he should be like Yoda size. He should Exactly. Oh my god, he's taller than Yoda. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> he's a snowman. Why is he five? Who builds a five foot four snowman? Especially Big two ass snowman. toddlers. Yeah. <laughs> Some very interesting children. Um, They're very tall children. I was like, why did you change your profile picture in the middle of the podcast? I thought someone else joined. I'm like, who the fuck? Yeah, because I feel like changing it. Okay. Um. All right. So, uh, I I have some other things in here that aren't even like topics. They're just like, okay, this is an idea. So I wrote it down. So uh, just go along with me here. Uh, first of all, let's. Uh, I I've asked Eva this before. Uh, so Kevin, it'll be interesting to hear what your answer is. All right. Let's say you have a cup of water, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. If you drop one single drop of piss in it, just one, would you still drink it? One drop of like piss. Like a drop of piss, and that's it. Just one drop. Like, when you say, to- like, drop, do you mean, like... Uh, uh, and, and this scenario, it's, it's your piss, by the way. It's not someone else. Okay, okay, yeah. 
But it, by a drop, do you mean like if like you know like an eye dropper you got, like, size eye drop? Dropper and you, like you got like one of those things you have in science class, and you like just pipettes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, one drop. I mean, if I had to, like, if it was like my only like source of water, then yeah. No, I just mean like you're just like in your kitchen or something, just getting some water, and you. How did I get piss in my water? Drop one <laughs> droplet of piss in there. Would you still? Hey, drink we it? don't know what you're into, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I no, guess no, I. This is this is the start to it. This isn't the end of it. This is the start. Oh God. Would I you mean, drink it? I mean, yeah. If it's, it's my piss, drop. it's not gonna change anything. It's my piss, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, now here's where the real, this is where it gets interesting. How many drops of piss would it take for you to be like, nope, I'm not drinking this anymore? Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of like a good water to piss ratio. <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck. I've been getting technical. <laughs> I just realized that my audio was not. Uh, I turned my volume down, not echo down. Wah, wah. I'm, my audio might not have been on this whole fucking time. Oh no. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay. Would you rather me not? just? No, my audio is not on. Oh god, you stupid motherfucker. Well, like I, I thought it was my echo. Okay. Um, I can just record over. I'll just record over. Uh, okay. What we because I'm not gonna make you guys do that work. That's my fault. <laughs> uh, right, plus it'll be right. hard to get Kevin's reaction over again. So I'll just yeah. have to remember what I said because I said I said a lot, a lot about piss, yeah, a lot about piss. Okay, all right. I'll just I'll figure it out. The um, right. I'll rem I'll have to just remember what I said. I talked about. Mm -hmm. I talked about Matt Pat and Skylanders and oh fucking the Olaf thing. That was a huge part. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was literally like what we were talking about with Kevin's reaction. Okay. I'll just <laughs> God damn it. Okay, continue continue with the scenario. I'm just gonna write <laughs> down what I forgot to talk about so I can remember when I'm mm. editing this video. Uh so apologies to everyone watching this who's like, what the fuck is he talking about? And mm. Because you'll you'll realize why it might sound a little weird in editing. You'll be like, "This sounds like he's not even part of the group." That's because I'm not. I'm talking over <laughs> it. Okay. All right. Okay. Water. Oh <laughs> man. Water to piss ratio. Yeah. Um. How full is the glass? Um. Let's say about like halfway to leave halfway. Room. All right. I think it'd be like, hmm, maybe like five until I was like, okay, that's enough. Okay, f so five drops of piss is your is what you're willing to go to. Yes, yeah, so that that's my cutoff. Okay. Um, please don't tell me there's more. <laughs> no, 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 that's the end of it. I'm trying to think how much I would do. How much am I willing to do? I mean, it's my piss. I know what yeah. I drink. Five is pretty small for your own piss. Yeah. Um. Okay. I if mean, it was my own, I'd say probably piss. like maybe like twenty, and then I'd probably be like, all right, that's enough. 20 drops. But if it was someone else's piss, what are you, what are you thinking? Zero? Oh, no one's one, pissed. One. <laughs> Unless I know what that person like directly puts in their body, I'm not drinking their piss. Okay. So one drop. No, so even water, if it's like, like nope, if, they're okay. like, if they're doing heroin and shit, just as long as you know, you'll still drink it. <laughs> well, no, I just, <laughs> I just don't want to drink another person's pee, anyways. That's why you gotta go oh. there. My details are important, Tom. All right, all right. Uh, let's continue with these wacky scenarios. All right. Um, 
Kevin, would you fuck the Statue of Liberty? Uh, like, like I fuck her, or she fucks me. Um, it, I don't know. It's a mutual. You're both like, let's get nasty. It's mutual. <laughs> You're fucking each other. <laughs> I'm asking if if you saw the Statue of Liberty in your fucking I don't know your Tinder feed, would you smash her paws? My smasher points. I mean, Lady Liberty. She came from like what France? Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's yeah, a well, well traveled, well traveled woman. Large, <laughs> large woman. <laughs> large. Uh, uh, I like her big uh, uh, smile. Yeah, I love her smile, guys. Um. I love her big, her, I love her big aspirations. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Isn't there like an elevator inside her too, or is that? Um, I think no, so. I think you're thinking of mon uh, the um 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 the uh the uh, monument mythos. Oh yeah. Is that or, no? It's a ladder inside of her. Is this is reminding me of that meme I saw a while ago. That was just elevator. like. This guy was, this post was just like, y'all think the Statue of Liberty has a pussy? And I was just like, okay. <laughs> That's enough internet for today. Yep. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know what she looks like under all those garments, all those robes. Um, alright, so I guess the consensus is that we'd all smash the Statue of Liberty? I mean, I guess. I, <laughs> I never, I never consented to this. I mean, okay, it's a once-in-a-lifetime so, so, opportunity. So what I heard from Eva is that she's a good Tuesday fuck, right? That's what I heard? Alright, continuing on. What? <laughs> what? What does that mean? Why specifically Tuesday? Mean any... We get nasty out on Wednesday, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I just have Jamaican Country Roads written down here, and I'm very fascinated by what could have made Interesting. me write that down. I... We started Got that. You go <laughs> country roads. They can be all man. That's that's hard to do country roads in a maybe that was the idea. Is it's supposed to be a challenge? How long can you go singing country roads in a Jamaican accent without failure? Oh my god! <laughs> take me home. Do take the me place. Home, I belong. <laughs> West that Virginia. That'd be fun. That would be like a good party activity. Make people sing songs in a different accent and see how long they can do it. Mm hmm. I love doing Cause, that. Cause that's, it's, like, you can talk in an accent, but singing in an accent, that's talent. Oh, yeah. I can, I can um, do it. I do it all the time. I love doing that. Well, if I actually like sang, sang, I think it'd be more difficult, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can do like mock singing. I mean, for um, Chamber, of course, we kind of do our British. We do a little British. Yeah. I also wrote yeah, down. It's not like people trying to do like, oh, hey, bro, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I brought this old hammer in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Can you do country roads in a British accent? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Country roads. Oh, I brought boy in it. <laughs> <laughs> country roads in it. <laughs> Uh, I also wrote down having to take a shit while getting mugged. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, that's a that's a realistic just... that's a realistic uh um yeah, scenario no, for me. Uh, wait, you're getting yeah, mugged. I, mean, I, think think I'm, I'm really sorry. Yourself, I know you're trying mugged. to rob me, but like I really gotta go. I had like Taco Bell today, and I think I just I, shit to ward them off. Can life. you like give me a second? I had all the shit, man. I think I just shit right then and there, and to get them to leave me alone. Oh my god! That determination genius. <laughs> like, what better Someone defense tries to mug is you there than you shitting your yourself? And you just start ass blasting, and they're just like, <laughs> "All right, you know what?" They're like a they're like a lion when like a they're or like a crocodile when they're like prey is being difficult. They're like, "All right, this isn't worth it." That's mm -hmm. what the mob response is. He's like, "All right, I'm not fucking doing this." Oh my god! All right, you're getting mugged. What's like, like, <laughs> what's like the worst but best tactic like you could employ, like, just to make them be like, "What the fuck is wrong with this person?" 
Probably like pulling down your pants or getting naked. I don't know. <laughs> don't bu- don't bug me. I'll come. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I saw a shirt. Oh, said, don't oh bug you know, me. you know what the best way to get back at him is, and this mm. works always too. Um, like using verbal pain. Oh, horrid. Like. <laughs> You just be like, like they're like trying to mug you. They're like, "Give me all your money." And the gun is at their head, and and you're like, "Dude, you ever get like a pimple like in your eye, and you gotta like pop it?" And they're just like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> I literally had a pimple in my eye like five days ago. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Sorry, dude. That sucks ass. That sounds like the worst. It looks grosser than it than it feels. It hurts, but it, just looking at it, you're just like, ew. Um, anyone who doesn't want to be in, like, agonizing pain, uh, of the male genre, please close your ears now. The male uh, you genre. Could, you could also say, imagine, like, paper, like, slicing through your dick. Through your balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, like, I was, like, just hearing that, I was like, oh, wish up, oh, no. I don't feel... I don't feel that pain anymore, though, because being trans, I'm just like, I don't know. I, I, I don't feel that anymore. I don't have that same reaction anymore. I think it's weird. You see someone in a movie get like, brutally murdered, and you're like, okay. But like the second uh, someone gets hit in the balls, you're like, oh, no. You're like, ooh. <laughs> oh, no, bro. <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> Um, my genuine reaction (laughs) um let's see i also have uh this is a a show that me and my friend came up with uh called pedo hunters where we just go around and we just Mm -hmm. put down pedophiles and then we just like i don't know i don't know if we decided on I think we're going to prank them, and then we're going to kill them. But I don't know if that would be... This is like a dystopian future sort of show. Because I don't think... I don't like, um, I don't know if... I don't know if, like... I don't know if, like, ABC would want to run this. I mean, kind maybe. Type kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Um, let's see. We, ha- we have a... Uh, we have a little joke here. So, um... Uh, Kevin. Mm-hmm. What is the difference between a child and a prostitute? Oh god. Um I don't know. You don't know? Dude, he's a pedophile. Get him out of here. Oh, Get him no. out of here. He doesn't know. He doesn't know the difference. Oh, I see. <laughs> you just I stole, said that, from, I stole that from Instagram. Sue me. Okay, anyway. That's good. <laughs> it is good. I laughed my ass off. Um, oh, there was another one that was, <laughs> that was really good. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Um, oh, have you, have you been seeing like the, um, the Stephen Hawking memes? Lately? Oh yeah. I saw one where it's like, it's like, there will be, uh, miners there and then it showed like someone in a wheelchair like crashing through a window. Oh no. Like probably like happy wheels music in the background. Uh I don't really remember. I just remember because I didn't know at the time Mm -hmm. about the Epstein documents yet. So like I was like really confused for a second. I was like, wait, was he a pedophile? And I started looking up and then it talked about the Epstein stuff and I was like, oh great. Yeah. That's a oh, rabbit man. hole in itself. Well, yeah, the, let's not. The, I don't want to get into something like that, especially. The Hawking stuff was fake, though, I thought. Um. No, I don't. I don't think it was. I don't. I don't, I don't know, know, man. I only know what I know from memes, okay? <laughs> it may or may not be fake. I'm not a reliable source. Do not trust me. I, but I think I heard that it was all fake. Okay. Because people have been, like, tons of people have just been like, oh, look at this, this person's on the list. 
And mm-hmm. a lot of times it's politically fueled, but there's people who are just oh, absolutely doing it as a joke, and then it just ends up become being taken further than a joke. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh oh, and um, my final scenario is: Do you think that Batman's popularity? as a comic book character, would be lowered if he teabagged his criminals? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> Alright, That's now, riveting content. When I, when I, okay, when I asked this question uh, to a friend, they first thought I meant popularity within the community, so, and I was like, oh, that actually, that's not a bad question either. So, within the universe, do you think he would be less popular if he teabagged? The criminal. Oh, like in the Batman universe, like Gotham City? Yeah, like, do you think Gotham would be like, um, who's this guy going around teabagging the criminal? That's kind of hard. I feel like it would be, like, mixed I mean, he's feelings. Like, stopping cri- I mean, yeah, because it'd be like, he crime, stopped but, like, crime, but then he dipped his, his balls. balls. <laughs> <laughs> he's balls in their mouths. Yeah, like, I feel like it'd be mixed. I feel like there'd it'd be like a, you need to pick a side, so it'd be like, either Batman's awesome, they're Batman supporters, or there are people who are like, it's inhumane to teabag criminals. Well, I mean... Could you imagine they have, like... Vigilante, they have, like, there's all people who are divided. I feel like it's just gonna be even more division if he f- stick his balls in their mouths. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine in the comics, like, they're, like, trying to make a political statement and they have people protesting, and it's, like, to, like, be, like, look, real-world issues in the comic book universe, in the Batman universe, but their signs just say, stop sticking your balls in their mouth. And, like, <laughs> and teabagging. That's, that's their relation to real-life issues. I guess. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Something about that is so funny to me. <laughs> it's like he's like, yeah, he beats the shit out of a criminal, and he's like, a oh, Batman. He just like crashes down. <laughs> the criminal's like knows what's about to happen. He's like, like, no, like, please, horror, a mercy, dude. Crime <laughs> would go down like to zero percent. Oh, it no absolutely would. Oh yeah, maybe no one wants to get. <laughs> it's not gonna be like. It's not gonna be like, or it's like, we won't get caught by the bat. It's fine. It's it's gonna be like, I'm gonna get my balls stuck in my mouth. <laughs> oh shit, it's the bat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <and> then, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh god, my bad balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my what god. does Robin do during all this? Does he just watch? Well, I didn't even oh, consider yeah. Robin. He's just fucking watching. Robin even, takes the videos for social media. See, I, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. In this scenario, I didn't even think about Batman getting off to it. I just thought about him doing it as a power move. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, he's not even getting turned on by it. He's just, like, sitting there like, this is what you get. If I had the opportunity to stick my balls in a criminal's mouth after defeating them, I would. Kevin, you'd make a great hero. <laughs> 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 oh boy. Uh um Do you think uh do you think Batman has better villains or Spider Man? Oh god. Hmm. They both have good villains, they both have really shit ass goofy villains. Yeah. Like Mr. Pennies. Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Pennies. Calendar Man! Condiment Man! Oh my god, yes. Polka Dot Man is actually good though. What? Polka Dot Man is actually good though. Like I thought he's dumb, and then Suicide Squad came out and it's like, oh okay, yeah, that was really badass. Bad mm-hmm. I don't know. I think Spider Man has better villains. I think that's just because I watched more Spider Man than Batman, though. Okay, um, fair enough. Honestly, yeah, because there's also so like. When it comes to obscure Batman villains, it's because they're shitty. When it comes to obscure Spider-Man villains, it's a lot of them are actually like really good and beloved in the community that just don't get enough recognition. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, 
that's all my topics that I really have that I want to do for this episode. <laughs> we have three, two, one, and the episode's over. Thank you all for joining me on this episode of the Council of Goatman. Mm -hmm. uh, and joined by uh, Walter Samdu. <laughs> and, okay. And Clockwork <laughs> Scully, thank you for joining. Yeah. I'm going to go re-record audio. Yay! Oh, boy! <laughs> Bye, I love you! <laughs> Alright, later, losers. Talk to you. Fuck you. Never. Bye. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> we're, it's, we're through. Goodbye.